Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have got to know about the classification of the halogen derivative of, of alkane and in that case we have also classified into mono, di, tri as well as tetrahalogen derivative of alkane. And now we are going to specifically talk about an alkyl halide. So what is alkyl halide and what is the classification of it? Let us talk about that. So talking about alkyl halide, alkyl halides are that is, they are monohalogen derivatives of alkene and they are also known as alkyl halides. So in the previous lecture also we have got to know about what is monohalogen derivative of alkene and let me remind that also. That is, when one hydrogen atom of an alkene is replaced by only one halogen atom that is basically known as and that the product that is being formed is basically known as the monohalogen derivative of alkene or we call it as haloalkene and especially that is monohalogen derivative of alkene that is alkyl halide that is what we are talked about. So this alkyl halide, if we are talking about the general uh, formula for that one, then it is very uh, simple as we have discussed earlier also, that is, it will be CnH2n plus 1x. So this is alkyl halide and basically known as monohalogen derivative of alkene. And now let us talk about the classification of it. So the classification of uh, this uh, alkyl halides or mono HDA is based upon the halogen atom that is attached to which type of carbon atom. So as you have studied in the air standard also that is there are types of carbon atoms and those types are basically they could be called as primary carbon atom, secondary carbon atom, tertiary and quaternary. So this is what we have got to know about the alkyl halide and now let us talk about the classification of the alkyl halide. So classification of the alkyl halide is dependent on the uh, halogen atom which is attached to which type of carbon atom and we have discussed in our that is in our Iran standard also that is there are three at least four types of carbon atom that is primary carbon atom, secondary carbon atom, tertiary and quaternary. So depending on that position of the carbon atom, the type of the carbon atom to which basically the uh, halogen atom is attached in the uh, alkyl halide. So that is called as basically classification of alkyl halide. So that's the reason that uh, the alkyl halides are being classified into three types that is primary alkyl halide. The second one is secondary alkyl halide and the last one is tertiary alkyl halide. So based on this classification, let us talk about the definition of each term and then we could understand in a, in a very better way that is what is primary alkyl halide, what is secondary and what is tertiary alkyl halide. So now let us start with the first one that is the first classification of the alkyl halide that is primary alkyl halide. So talking about the definition of the primary alkyl halide, so it could be given as in this way that is the alkyl halide in which the halogen atom is attached to the primary carbon atom is called as primary alkyl halide or one degree alkyl halide. So let me give you an example of this one so that uh, we could differentiate between what is primary, what is secondary and what is tertiary. So suppose if we have an example like this one that is CH3, CH2, Br. Another example that is CH3. And another one suppose that is so this is the example that I have uh, mentioned over here and let us talk about uh, which one could be called as the primary one let me talk about uh, this thing that is all the alkyl halides that are present over here are called as the primary alkyl halide the reason behind that is if we observe the halogen atom so in this case the in first example suppose if this bromine atom is attached to the carbon atom and this carbon atom is attached to only one carbon atom directly. So therefore this kind of uh, carbon atom is called as primary carbon atom. And since according to the definition that what we have got to know that is the halogen atom is attached to the primary carbon atom of uh, in this alkyl halide. So therefore this is an example of a primary alkyl halide. So talking about this example. So uh, in this example also you could see that uh, there are multiple carbon atoms over here as well as uh, there are different types of carbon atoms that is what I could say primary there would be that is uh, tertiary or there would be uh, uh, that is quaternary. But in this example if you if you observe that is there are basically multiple primary carbon atoms here also that is uh, if I would talk about this one. So this is a primary carbon atom the reason behind that is this CH3 is attached to only one carbon atom. Uh, directly. So even this CH2 is attached to one carbon atom, even this three, every is, everyone is attached to one carbon atom except this one which is attached to four carbon atoms. 
But if I have to talk about the halogen atom, so therefore this Cl is the halogen atom and that is attached to a carbon atom which is itself a primary carbon atom. The reason behind that is if you observe this CH2, so this CH2 is directly attached to only one carbon atom making this carbon, that is the carbon of this methyl, methylene uh, will be called as basically primary carbon atom. So since the Cl or since the halogen atom is attached to the primary carbon atom of this uh, molecule, so therefore this is an example of a primary alkyl halide. So talking about the last one also, that is even in this case also we could observe there is primary carbon atom, there is secondary carbon atom, as well as there is tertiary carbon atom. But we don't uh, bother about that. The thing is we are classifying the alkyl halides. So in this case basically the halogen atom, that is the Cl, that is attached to a carbon atom over here as you could see over here. But this carbon atom is directly attached to only one carbon atom only. That is the reason that this is called as primary carbon atom and the halogen atom which is attached to the carbon atom which is itself a primary carbon atom and hence this is an example of a primary alkyl halide. So this is all the primary alkyl halide that we have mentioned about uh, here. So let me give you a short glimpse about the IUPC nomenclature also so that we could give the IUPC nomenclature here itself. So the name of this one would be called as because BR that is the uh, uh, it is the halogen atom or it is the function group so that is attached to the carbon atom and there are total basically two carbon atoms so therefore the name of this would be called as 1-bromo-ethane. But talking about this uh, example the name or the IBC name of this one would be since the uh, chlorine uh, atom is basically the acting as a functional group so therefore we should start the number from this chlorine atom only so therefore this one would be the first carbon atom this one would be the second and this one would be the uh, third one according to the IBC rule that we have studied in our 11th study. So, in this, in this case, basically on the second carbon atom, there are two methyl groups that have been attached over here and uh, you could see that uh, there is uh, on the first carbon atom, there is chlorine. So therefore, the name would be according to the IUPC nomenclature rules and uh, according to that, the chlorine, it starts with C, while the methyl group, even they are the branch chain one, they are the substituent over here. So therefore, this starts with M. So therefore, we should name this as, that is, 1-chloro. 2 comma 2 dimethyl methane ethane propane So talking about the third example, the IPC name of that could be written as, uh, as we could see that uh, the chlorine atom is attached to the first carbon atom. So this one could be called because chlorine is acting as functional groups, so therefore we should give the reference from there only. So therefore this one would be uh, so we should give the preference from there only. So therefore this one will be the first, second, third and fourth carbon atom. So I cannot do the uh, IUPC nomenclature because of uh, uh, on the second position as you could see there is a methyl group. So methyl it starts with the alphabet M. But talking about the chlorine that starts with C. So therefore the name of this one could be given as in this way. That is 1-chloro, 2-methyl. The total number of carbon that are present in the straight chain is basically 4. You see, it could be called as butane. So, that is the IPC uh, that we have mentioned over here, along with that of the classification of the alkyl halides. So, that is the thing that we have did. But uh, let us move on to the next uh, uh, type or the next uh, classification, and that is basically secondary alkyl halide. So, what are secondary alkyl halides? Let us talk about that. So, talking about the definition, uh, it would be uh, very much simple to understand just like the previous one that is in this case that is the alkyl halide in which the halogen atom is attached to the secondary carbon atom is called as secondary alkyl halide or we could also call it as that is two degree alkyl halide so that is the same thing so this is what we have discussed over here so now let us discuss the example so so if you have an example like this way that is if i would represent So this is the two examples that I have mentioned over here and we have to discuss whether this is a secondary alkyl halide or not and how it is to be called as a secondary alkyl halide. The reason behind that is, suppose if this is the uh, halogen atom that is what we are concerned of. So that halogen atom is attached to a carbon atom. But we are talking about this carbon atom. This carbon atom is attached to two carbon atoms over here. Making this carbon to be called as a secondary carbon atom. And we will talk about this one also. Even if you talk about the bromine that is being attached over here in the halogen atom. So the halogen atom is attached to a carbon atom over here, which is attached to two carbon atoms directly, means there is a direct bond between these two. And that's the reason that even this carbon atom is called to be secondary carbon atom. Even though having the three carbon atoms uh, 
uh, that is even though having four carbonates in the street chain but the thing is we have discussed in the earlier standard also that is uh, the types of the carbon atom are based on the uh, attachment of a carbon atom to the different carbon atoms so in this case if we talk about this one then this carbonate is attached to two carbon atoms directly and hence it is known as secondary carbon atom so if you observe in both the cases that is the halogen atom is attached to the secondary carbon atom and hence these are the examples of a secondary alkyl halides and uh, let us talk about the name of this one according to the IUPAC so for this it would be called as because uh, according to the IUPAC name we have to select the longest chain and this is the longest chain that, that we have and we should give the number so therefore this is the first second and third and hence according to the name according to the IUPAC rules we could give the name of this one as that is 2 bromo propane and according to this also we could also give it as the name as if this is first carbon atom second third fourth and uh, according to the IPC rule we could give the name as that is 2 bromo butane so this is what we have classified uh, and we have discussed about the secondary alkyl halides along with that of the IPC uh, nomenclature of these examples that we have discussed in uh, this one and now let us move on to the last one that is tertiary alkyl halides so what are tertiary alkyl halides let us talk about that so in order to the definition of this one, so we could uh, give uh, the definition as in this way, that is the alkyl halides in which the halogen atom is attached to the tertiary carbon atom is called as tertiary alkyl halide. So let me give an example of this one so that we could understand. So this is the two examples that we have about the tertiary alkyl halide and uh, let us discuss about the first uh, example. So in this case we could see that uh, the bromine atom has been attached to this carbon atom and this carbon atom is directly attached to three carbon atoms over here. And that is also forming a uh, three sigma bonds. So therefore we could say that this carbon atom is called to be tertiary carbon atom. While talking about this example, even this also, we could see that uh, the halogen atom, that is the iodine, it is attached to the carbon atom over here. And that carbon atom is also attached to three carbon atoms directly forming a bond, as we could see over here. So therefore this carbon atom is also to be called as a tertiary carbon atom. But we, are, we could see that there are basically primary carbon atoms also as well as the secondary carbon atom also. Let me discuss about that also. That is, uh, if this carbon atom is to be concerned, that this carbon atom is directly attached to only one carbon atom over here. So therefore, this is the primary carbon atom. This carbon atom is attached to two carbon atoms over here. Therefore, it is it is called to be secondary carbon atom. And okay, about this carbon atom, this carbon atom is attached to only one carbon atom directly. That is, it is called to be primary carbon atom. And even this is the primary carbon atom. But why it is called to be the tertiary carbon atom? is dependent on the attachment of uh, the halogen atom to the type of the carbon atom. So this halogen atom is not attached to primary, is not attached to secondary, but it, it is attached to the tertiary carbon atom and hence this is an example of a tertiary alkyl halide. So even talking about that, but, so it would be the same reason behind that. And now let's talk about the IUPC name, even we have to discuss that also. That is, we could give the name of uh, this one as uh, according to the IUPC rules. So therefore this one would be the first carbon second third and this one would be the fourth carbon atom over here and uh, talking about the number of attachment on the second carbon atom so the second carbon atom consists of basically here we could see that there is methyl group and here it is bromine uh, atom so therefore the name of this one according to the IPC rules we could give the name and that is basically 2 bromo 2 methyl and the total number of carbon that are being present in the straight chain is basically 4, it, then it could be called as that is butane. So, now talking about this uh, example, so the name of this one would be we should give the numbering of this one to the, to the carbon atoms over here. So, therefore, we could see that uh, on the second carbon atom, uh, there are two attachments or there are two substituents that is, one is methyl group and the one is uh, the iodine iodo group, or we could call it as the uh, iodine atom. So, the name of this one will be called as that is according to the IPC uh, rules. So therefore, it will be called as one iod, two iodo, that is two methyl. And the total number of carbon that is present in the street chain is three. So therefore, the name of this will be propane. So talking about this one, that is this is the name that we have got over here, where uh, the name of this one is. 2 iodo 2 methyl propane. So that is it. This is what we have discussed about. So, in this lecture, we have today talked about uh, the alkyl halides. What is the that is definition of alkyl halide as well as what are the different classification of that alkyl halide depending upon the attachment of the halogen atom to the type of carbon atom. So, this is what we have discussed about this thing. 
So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and you have got to know various information regarding this. So I hope you share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.